Welcome back stingers and welcome to your 2021 self love transformation series where I'm going to give you 31 videos in 31 days helping you transform into the most fabulous Scorpios you were meant to be. If today is your born day, happy birthday. Make sure you stay to the end of this video for a special birthday tarot card reading. I'm going to round up the series by acknowledging November 22nd as Scorpios. Some of you have gotten your charts read and you are actual Scorpios. I think in the U.S., if you're born before like 5 p.m., you fall into the Scorpio season. And we love you here on Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon. You are one of us. <laughs> and we are going to talk about what it means to be a powerful Scorpio. Um, Scorpios are the most powerful sign of the zodiac and others can argue that in the comments if they want to. But we are. <laughs> we are magnetic. We are powerful. We are nurturing. We are sensitive. We are alluring. We are magnetic. We are transforming. We are spiritual. We are, um, you know, just... Woo, the person you want to be around. We are the person who helps others when they can't help themselves. We pull out the best parts of individuals. We always show you who you are. We're the mirrors of the zodiac. We are extraordinary in so many ways. We are psychic. We have such, uh, you know, healing abilities. And um, we're just we're just that person. <laughs> we're just that person. Everybody needs a Scorpio in their lives. I thank you guys for joining me for this transforming self-love series of 2021. And I want to thank Adam Assise of Lilith Astrology for coming through with the alchemy. Make sure you check out her website and her YouTube channel to get more information on how to you know, use alchemy in your life. Thank you so much to Sexy Tarot for bringing in your birthday tarot readings. If you guys want a full reading, make sure you check her out on her website. She's on Facebook and Instagram as well. All right, guys, as always, I will see you soon. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. If November 22nd is your birthday, happy birthday Scorpio. For your birthday, I would like to gift you a mini tarot card reading. We're going to do a self-wellness check. We're going to take a sneak peek into your love life, a sneak peek and see how happy you are, and a sneak peek into your career. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. Scorpio, in the area of love, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. Whoever you were with was like a damn Debbie or Donald Downer, okay? You had to turn your back to this situation because it seems like this person was bringing your energy down. And you regret that you had to do this, right, Scorpio? But the reason you had to do this is because of the wisdom that you had. It's like an accumulation of your past experiences led you to this decision. You knew that from your past experiences, if you decided to stay with this person, Person that it wasn't going to progress in a healthy manner. In relation to your happiness, Scorpio, you have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. However, Scorpio, what I see is you learning lessons, learning lessons in life. Some of you may have went back to school or um, tried to perfect your craft or your trade. And Scorpio, you learn to listen deeply to your heart. You learn to listen deeply to what your needs were spiritually. And I see you are well on, wet, on the way to a healthy transformation, Scorpio. In the area of your career, Scorpio, you have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups. For So for the November 22nd, Scorpios, you're happy with what you're doing. Your wishes are being fulfilled, Scorpio. You feel like your voice is being heard. You're um, getting your name out there. Some of you may be um, in the field of public speaking. Um, whatever it is, when you speak, they listen. 
So whatever this career is, it responds to you very well. Overall, Scorpio, you are the queen of pentacles. This is you adopting this energy of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You are a patient, nurturing, kind person. You may be a parent. But what it is is that you are, you are headed towards your stability. You're already stable. You're rooted. You're grounded. And the reason is because you took that compassion you have for others and you focused it inward. You focused it inward. You realize that you can't heal anyone else without having what it is you need inside. And because of that, Scorpio, you're putting in the work, you're making the effort. And guess what, Scorpio? Spirit is calling on you to take your time. Easy do does it. Whatever you're doing right now that's part of your transformation, take your time. It is not a time to take chances, take risks. Now, know this, Scorpio. Someone knows they did you wrong. They're going to miss you. They feel like they're your soulmate, and they actually want to come back and heal this energy. But as it stands, Scorpio, I see you focusing that energy on yourself to become in alignment with you you scorpio if you are interested in a personal tarot reading with me please email me at sexytarot at gmail.com also scorpio don't forget to follow my youtube channel sexy tarot happy birthday scorpio peace